Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get this meeting started. At this time, I'm going to call this meeting to order. At this time, if you would, please, let's stand for a moment of prayer. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we are grateful, Lord, that you were able to bring this group together and we were able to keep it civil and above board. I hope and pray, Lord, as we go through this meeting that we are do, do our due diligence in what is best for the county and the population thereof. Guide and direct us in the path you'd have us to go and be with us as we make our decisions through this meeting. In your heavenly sweet name we pray. Amen. Amen. And while we are standing, let's do the pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. We have got some uh, amendments to the agenda, but they should already be on your on the meeting agenda for tonight. I'm going to have to have a... Uh, let me read them out here. I'll item three, amendments to the agenda. Do we need to vote on each one? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and read them out. We're going to vote on them as a whole. Amendments to the agenda. Number one, add under action item section approved minutes on number six call meeting minutes dated September 11, 2014. Number two, item E, add quick claim deed between Pickens County and Eric Rowan. Number three, item F, adoption of policies for employee handbook. Number four, item G, approval and adopt the 2014 millage rate. I'm going to go back. Uh, under item G, I'd like to move it down to number five and move number four up. Number item H, authorize opening of checking account for CDBG grant number 14, POI 112-15690, and then approve and adopt the 2014 millage rate on item G. I need a, a motion and a second uh, the improvement of the amendments to the agenda. Sure. Jerry has made the move. Second. You move. Becky has seconded it. Any further discussion? None being. All in favor, let me know by saying aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you. That has been approved. Approval agenda. Item. All right, so that brings us down to item four, the approval of the agenda with the amendments. <coughs> Ronnie, move a second for that. No, we were done now, okay. So that brings us down to item five, the financial report. I'm gonna turn it back over to, uh, to Ms. Harvey and for the financial report. <coughs> the uh, August 2014 financial report and it reflects eight months of the 2014 fiscal year. <coughs> the expenditure budget should be at 66.7% or less. The general fund um, revenue collected through August 31st is at $7,514,097. That's 35.7% of the uh, total budgeted revenue. The um, the general fund expenditures for the first eight months total to thirteen million one hundred ninety four dollars and thirty nine one hundred ninety four thousand thirty nine dollars and that is sixty two point six nine percent so overall the expenditures are at four they're a little, a little more than four percent under the um, allowable level so um, let's go through the revenue for taxes <coughs> Through August, we collected three million seven sixty-eight three fifty-one for licenses and permits, one hundred seventy-three thousand six hundred thirty-five dollars. <coughs> Intergovernmental, one million six oh three oh fifty-eight. Charges for services is at one million seven thirty-four four thirty-one. Fines and forfeitures, one hundred sixty-two thousand five thirty-three. Interest, two thousand one eighty-four. Other revenue is at 61747 transfers 8158 for our the total of $7,514,097. So we'll go to the expenditure budgets. <coughs> Under the 
general government department that includes the commission and general budgets the elections budget the tax commissioner tax assessors and general government buildings that budget is um, at two million fifty four thousand six hundred eighty eight that's sixty point one seven percent of the total the judicial budgets superior court and grand administration is at four hundred eighty one thousand eight eighteen uh, Clerk of Court, Board of Equalization, 314-144. District Attorney, 192-133. Magistrate is at 181-448. Probate, 191-367. The Juvenile Court at 325-598. Public Defender is at 284-109. For a total judicial of 1,970,613. And that is 59.24% of the uh, total expenditure budget. In public safety, sheriff is at 3,308,416. Probation and drug abuse funds, $339,17. The fire administration, operations, and fire stations is at 797, $793. EMS administration operations and buildings 1,288,110. Uh, coroner is at 31.887. E911 general fund budget is 10412. 10, the animal shelter 107361. EMA is at 40,669 for a total of uh, public safety 5,923,664. And that is 61.75%. Okay, after public safety, we have public works. The public works budget for the roads maintenance shop is at 1,656,415. That, um, that budget is, it's over, um, over budget. It's mostly due to seasonal road projects, mowing and paving. Uh, the paving, any of the paving projects that began after July 1st will be, can be uh, paid with the 2014 squash proceeds. So those budgets hopefully will adjust during the year. The solid waste landfill budget is at 226425 um, Public education, keep Pickens beautiful, is at 18356 Total public works is 1,901,197 or 77.52%. The um, health and welfare, that includes the health department, the senior center, and the MATS buses. Uh, their total expenditures through August were $150,086, that's 43.82%. Culture and recreation, recreation administration and programs uh, has been 396,630. The library is at is 160,597 for a total of 557,227. Um, under housing and development, the county <coughs> extension service is $28,355. Planning and development and building inspections, 242,600. The county marshal, 38,974. <coughs> Economic development, 41,182. Um, Tate Depot, $314. Total um, housing and development, 351,405. So the total expenditure budget is at $13,194,039, or it's at 62.69%. Um, the enterprise funds, the water department is, um, has spent $1,256,769. The airport, uh, $214,534. E911 special revenue is $611,571. And I have the airport budget highlighted there. It, it appears that it is over budget at 78%. But their revenue, they're, they're, they've sold and have to buy replenish so much of the jet fuel and the gasoline there. Their revenue is, is currently 30000 over their expenditures for the year. Um, Excuse me. 
Five minutes are at the end. I'm sorry. The um, <coughs> the Keith Pickens Beautiful and the economic development budgets are at 75 percent. Those are amounts that are paid quarterly, and at the end of August, we paid the fourth quarter um, contribution for that. Or the, I'm sorry, the third quarter. So they are um, that that budget will uh, level out toward the uh, by the end of the year. And the line item budgets were um, budget reports were distributed to the department heads and elected officials on September 15th. And I have copies of those line item budgets if you'd like to review them. That will bring us down to item six on the consent agenda. Consent agenda, we did a, a signed a resolution authorizing volunteers and elected officials to be covered by the ACCG Group Self-Insurance Workers Compensation Fund. This is this item right here. <clears throat> this one right here is a little note that goes along with that. This is the only update to the Board of Commission. The last, the last one that was done was in 1994, which read sole commissioner. So it has been changed to the board. All right. We don't have any old business. We're up to item seven. Any old business? New business. Is uh, Mr. Jack Dunn here? Jack, please come forward. We got a resolution for Mr. Jack Dunn. Jack, thank you, Jack, for the Thank you for coming. I'm going to read this. This is Jack Dunn Proclamation. Whereas Pickens County is proud to be the home of the recipient of the NCPA 2014 Willard B. Simons Independent Pharmacist of the Year Award, and whereas Jack Dunn, lifelong resident of Pickens County and longtime business owner here in the community, has been chosen for this prestigious award by the National Community Pharmacist Association, and whereas the NCPA, an association of over 25,000 pharmacists, will present the award to Mr. Dunn at their 116th annual convention in Austin, Texas in October of this year. And whereas Jack was chosen for this award because of his exemplary leadership and commitment to the independent pharmacy. And Jack has also been involved in many civic and cultural affairs in Pickens County and has been an avid supporter of our local sports programs. Now therefore, the Board of Commissioners of Pickens County hereby is pleased to recognize Jack <coughs> Dunn for his outstanding <coughs> accomplishments and for his dedication to improving the quality of life in Pickens County. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm going to ask you to say something. Uh, I do this for y'all. Uh, this is what I was born and raised to do. My father started me as a pharmacist, and uh, I love this. And so I'm just fortunate to take this award, and, uh, and it's for y'all. Thank you. Takes care of new business. Now that brings us down to item nine, action items. We need to get some minutes approved here. Let's see. Number one, regular board meeting on August 24th, 2014. I need to get those minutes approved by the board, please. <coughs> All right, I have a move by Jerry. Second. I have a second by Miss Becky. I have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being, all in favor, let me know by saying aye. Aye. All right, number two, we have the meetings we need to approve from the call to work session on August 25th, 2014. I know you all got copies of all these and, and, and read them. I need a move and a second to approve those meetings. To move. <laughs> have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being, all that in favor, let me know by saying aye. Aye. Thank you. None opposed. Item number three. We uh, need to approve the call, the minutes on a call meeting on August 25th, 2014. <coughs> sure, move. I have a move. I move in a second. Any further discussion? None being. All that in favor, let me know by saying aye. 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 None opposed. Aye. 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 Aye.
None opposed, thank you. So that brings us down to item four, public hearing on 2014 military increase, September 11, 2014, 10 a.m., first of three public hearings. I need a move and a second to approve those minutes. To move. Second. All right, I have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being all that in favor, I know by saying aye. 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 None opposed, thank you. Item five, public hearing on 20, we have the minutes on the public hearing on 2014 milligram grade increase on September the 11th, 2014 at 6 p.m. at the second of the three public hearings. I need a move and a second to approve those minutes, please. So moved. Second. I have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being, all that in favor of that note saying aye. 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 None opposed, thank you. And then we go down to number six. We have a call meeting. Execution of an intergovernmental agreement, uh, development authority bond, and related documents on September the 11th, 20, 2014 at 5 p.m. I have a move and a second to approve those minutes. So move. Second. I have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being. All that and that number saying aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you. That's got that approved. That brings us down to item B. We've had a um, item on item B on number one. Had a rezone request, number RZ7141163, Paulette Moxie, Sp Sparkling Springs Road, Jasper, Georgia. She was moving it from agriculture to a small to uh, to small agriculture parcel, number 049-013-005, that <coughs> with 13.44 acres. I have it here uh, in front of me, Miss Becky. It's uh, Pickens County Planning and Development Office received a complete application on July 30, 2014 from Paulette Moxie requesting a change in the land use classification of agriculture to small agriculture on 13.44 acres located on Sparkling Springs Road in Jasper. The intended purpose of the rezone request, if approved, is to rezone to a small agriculture, then divide the track into two smaller lots suitable for the zoning in order to sell an eight acre track and to keep the remaining 5.44 acres, which is adjacent to Mrs. Mockley's property. The land is located on Sparkling Springs Road with no improvements on it and was owned by Mrs. Mockley's late brother. After reviewing the application, receiving the staff report for the rezone request to be approved and listening to the testimony from both the applicant and the public, the Pickens County Planning Commission voted six yes to zero no to approve the rezone request on the 13.44 acre parcel contained on tax map, on tax map parcel number 049-013-005. The Pickens County Planning Commission now forwards this request to the Board of Commissioners for your review and decision. So I need a move and a second. It has, like I said, it has been approved by the Planning Commission six to zero uh, for approval. So moved. Okay, I have a move by uh, Mr. Becca. And a move by, uh, second by Becky. Uh, any further discussion? None being, all that in favor, let no for saying aye. 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 None opposed, thank you. brings us down to item two, zoning fees for small agricultural, estate residential, and special plan community. Um, this is a fee schedule that was brought to the commissioners by the, uh, by the board uh, planning and development for items that were not in the, uh, not in our, yeah, more unique categories that they have, uh, they have looked at and approved and want, wanted us to go ahead and look at and see if we approve them. Uh, we have we have uh, we have looked at them. Uh, let me just read through them. Thank you. I'll need to uh, I need to have a motion to adopt this new fee schedule. So move. Second. All right. I have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being. All that favor. Let no but saying aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you very much. Go ahead and approve that. <clears throat> All right, on item C, we have an addendum 
to the contract for land donation from picking from uh, Big Canoe. This is in regard to the property up there on Steve Tate Road for a fire station going up in that area uh, that they have donated to Pickens County to put a fire station on. Um, all, all we need to do is vote on the, there's a reverter clause in there, uh -huh. and that's the only, the only thing left. Everything else is assigned. All right. And the recommendation is a 10 year, it's 10 year for the reverter. We have a, uh, uh, we have a reverter clause in this that uh, if we do not build a station on this in 10 years, the property falls back to, uh, to Big Canoe. Uh, I need a move in a second to, to accept that. So move. Second. All right. I have a move and a second. Uh, any further discussion? None being all that favor, let nobody saying aye. 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 None opposed? Thank you very much. Alright, then that brings us down to uh, item D. Item D is, a, is an agreement by and between Pickens County and Northwest Georgia Administrative Services for a CDBG grant, which is going towards Good Samaritan grant. Good Samaritan is the uh, unit uh, of health that uh, volunteers do for, uh, for Pickens County citizens, and they have applied for a grant, and they received it. We need to approve. Uh, see, very good, Sam. This we need to approve that agreement. It does not put Pickens. Uh, the way I read this thing, it does not put Pickens County in any. They're going to handle a complete. Yeah, it's a complete thing. We not all we're doing is, is helping uh, pull everything together. So that being said. Um, I need a move in a second to approve this where they can go ahead and uh, start uh, start pulling their money from uh, from the state. So move. Okay. I have a move in a second. Uh, any further discussion? None being all that in favor of the no but saying aye. Aye. <coughs> None opposed. Thank you. Also <coughs> along with that, uh, and that was part of the uh, the amendments to the agenda, we need permission. You got the paperwork on that, Ms. Faye, for the uh, uh, <laughs> setting up a bank account for CDBG? It's just to authorize, authorize All right. us to okay. I need a, I need a move in a second for authorization for Miss Harvey to set up a bank account uh, for the CDBG grant for the Good Samaritan uh, Health Services over here. Uh, I need a move for her to go ahead and set that bank account so up. Moved. Have a move. Second. Have a move in a second. Any further discussion? None being all that favor letting open saying aye. 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 Any opposed? None <coughs> being. Thanks. <coughs> Got that taken care of there. And we'll have to sign off on that. All right. Item E. We got a quick claim deed between Pickens County, Georgia, and Eric and Christina Rowland. Uh, you want to, Mr. Commissioner? This is for a um, a lot that was sold at a tax sale. The Rowlands have come in and paid the back taxes as well as the costs associated with it. That's already been tendered to the tax commission. <coughs> That's something they paid. Uh, they, they deserve to have the property they need to. Uh, All right. So we need to run this through for approval. All right. I need a, I need a move in second uh, to authorize me to sign this where this quick claim, quick claim deed can be processed. So move. Second. All right. We have a move and a second. Any further <coughs> discussion? None being all that in favor of nobody saying aye. 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 None opposed. Thank you. <coughs> all right. Item F. Uh, something that we've been working on for for all three of us been working on for, for quite some time. Um, the county attorney has looked at it as well as the uh, the uh, attorney firm that uh, Cliff Nelson represents. It's the, uh, the adoption of, for of policies of the, of the employee handbook. Uh, the policies will include uh, nepotism policy, civic and political activities policy, telephone and cell phone usage while at work policy, Pickens County government implement weather and emergency closures of county offices, and Pickens County drivers policy. I believe you all have reviewed it. I uh, need a move and a second to go ahead and uh, 
and adopt this into our handbook. So moved. Second. All right, we have a move and a second. Any further discussion? None being all that favor, letting open saying aye. 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 None opposed, thank you very much. That brings us down to G, because item H, we cleared it up on the other side of that CDBG grant. To approve and adopt the 2014 millage rate. We have heard we've had three meetings on this. Um, I'm going to ask for your recommendation on what, what we need to proceed with on that. Um, do we want to go with a half a mil? So move. Second. All right. We have a move and a second to go with a half a mil increase on this. Any further discussion? None being all that uh, all that in favor, let me know by saying aye. 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 All right, none opposed. That motion has been carried. Becky, I'm going to open this thing up to uh, to comments uh, at, the, at the end of the meeting. So uh, I'm going to leave you online in case anybody wants to ask you a question. But uh, at this time, I'm going to open it up for, for any questions or comments. Yes, sir. I want to clear the air. A while ago, I said you. I think you asked the question, and I can't hear real well. Mm -hmm. But I think you asked me the question: Did that include the school system too? With my comparison, no. That's the population of the county versus the uh, taxes that are taken in here. So you take the thirty thousand people, the twenty-one million uh, budget, and that's where you come up with the seven hundred dollars per head. Mm -hmm. So that does put us at the top. Uh, Looking at what we went over tonight, we're four percent, uh, let's say, right now under budget, and that's over eight hundred thousand dollars. If everybody would stay in budget for the rest of the year, that would more than compensated for this millage increase if we were. To. But since it's already passed, can we get you to say that that eight hundred thousand dollars, if it's still there at the end of the year, and the balance in there now of three or four hundred thousand would be applied to the uh reduction of the tan is that would that be to say so okay and uh you made the comment jerry you weren't here when steve said the taxes have been raised you're here now so you can take responsibility for this one i got you yes uh jerry made the motion to raise the taxes so we i've been to all three public hearings and heard the the complaints. I've been part of it. I've been coming to these meetings for about two years. Uh, what I'd like to know, it's kind of uh, in reference to what these two were talking about, you're going to raise taxes anyway. Jerry, I'd like for you to tell us what a textbook hearing would be to where you didn't raise taxes. What what would we want to hear at these hearings? So we'll know as a, as a, as the public of the county uh, on a situation where taxes wouldn't be raised. So what? So they'll know why are we here? Well, the biggest thing, if we didn't have a TAN, if we had money to start the year, 30, 30%, 40% of the year's budget in hand when we start that year, would be an ideal way to start it. Yeah, but I'm talking about a, 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 a year, what, what, what we're here for. We knew we had a TAN. And y'all knew you had a tan going into these hearings. What I'm looking for is, a, is what do these hearings need to look like before you wouldn't raise taxes? Well, what are we be, here for? That would be one of them if we didn't have that. And if we had enough money for this increases that we had on there for next year. I think we're still missing the point here. <coughs> yes. Well, I'm sure, yeah, that too. We got this budget hearings coming up. Now, we, keep, we, we can keep them down as much as we can. And y'all going to be a... And I think if you the ones that come, Gary was there. He, he realized that we tried and we we accomplished some with the, with the departments that were open. We're going to try harder this year than what we did. Uh, and to face a uh, comment last week, heavy at the top, light at the bottom, I, I appreciate that out of her because you know, if we could start at the top and whack some of these chiefs and unnecessary departments and give it to the Indians on the low end, mm -hmm. you know, I appreciate that out of her, even though she voted for this tax. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I give both of them credit. It wow. has nothing to do with the, the, the community center. Can it be used as a tornado shelter? After. It's an after shelter. It is it is uh, registered by the by the federal government to be used at the after. It's one of the few buildings we've got okay. that's got showers in it. That's where that, that comes in on that one. And generator. Okay. Any other questions or comments? Yes, Bart. Bart. Yes, sir. Uh, you've been talking about the budget hearings coming up. When are the budget hearings and will they be advertised in the paper? They are ready, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, they're ready on I the I just want to make sure everybody yeah. here knows where they are the budget hearings are on the website and if you have trouble like some people you know trying to myself included trying to get on the web to get them out if you'll let us know we'll be glad to give you a copy of those dates and they will be in the paper they will be in the paper and they are posted in the admin building and they're posted in the admin building will yes ma'am department heads be there yes well i can speak for the department heads that we're responsible for the uh and all the elected officials should be there when they bring their budgets that, that is correct State. We've got some of the department heads here. We're talking about budgets and talking about budget hearings. Can we hear from some of the department heads on where their mindset's at? And the second part of my question is, is I've kind of heard through the grapevine we're having a uh, town hall meeting. Is that my understanding? Are we supposed to have a town hall meeting? Jasper. Yeah, I, think, I, think, downtown I think it's a down, uh, city of Jasper downtown development town hall meeting. Uh, what they're having uh, at, the, at the upstairs of the bargain barn, I believe. I haven't heard all of Rick yet. Jaspers will be in Jasper, New Lee Newton Park, next Thursday between 3 and 6 p.m. For tailgate meeting. Oh, okay, so Rick, Rick Water and a free moon pie. <laughs> 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 and in reference to what she just said about Rick Jasper, I'm surprised that he's not here. I do appreciate, uh, I complained Tuesday about a senior spend of uh, school taxes. You said that you had been in touch with him and was going to try to do something. Surely, sure, if that man's got enough power to get a law passed to carry a gun to church, he can help us. <laughs> see. He will. If I may, if I may. Ms. Lyle is back here in the back, chairman of the school board, and she has already made the statement that, you know, y'all would be more than welcome to come to her and, and see if, you know, we get the school board on board. I'm sure it's a discussion that needs to be carried, carried through. Any other questions or comments? Well, I want to extend my end of it. Can we hear from the county officials? Can we have a town hall meeting? Can we get that together? we talked about that before. No, we got... Steve, I don't know how we could accomplish that, trying to get these budget hearings today. And we want everybody to come to those, and we're going to try to work something out on that end. I've got one back there in the back. Yes, ma'am. Hey, my name is Carrie Roberts. I just moved back to Pickens County. Um, I left here six years ago and come back. I was very impressed when I lived in Cherokee County with the 911 and their new fire trucks and everything. And when I come back here, I was kind of sad to see that they hadn't increased any of that. Um, I understand their pay. I work for Cherokee County and the school board department, so sorry. Um, but where is this budget coming back to emergency services? Because they're going to need it. The elderly people are going to need it quicker than we are. Um, I don't mean that in a racist way, but um, it's, it's really sad to see that they're so much underpaid and understaffed and not getting the supplies they need when Cherokee County can get it. Understandably, their millage rate's a lot higher, but <coughs> in the budget, is that going to get back to them, or we're going to go back to putting it back into community? What center? Cherokee County did, if I may, what Cherokee County did, they three mills uh, that they raised their taxes, two or three mills, and that money is particularly set forth to fire protection of Cherokee County, and that's how they do it down there. Uh, so that gives them excess funds, and that's for. That's perpetuity, I'm, I'm assuming, right. when they set that up. Henceforth, they've got quite a bit of money, plus they've got a lot of, uh, a lot of infrastructure, a lot of commercial growth down there. On the other hand, as most of y'all know, we're, we're, wind, we're going to have to wind up going to a, uh, a full-time fire department because our volunteers, as great as they've been, they're starting to, you know, starting to thin out, starting to get older, and then we're trying to build the fire stations as we go. Again, that probably, you know, that budget, that'll be in the budget hearings as we bring it forward. So part of this military is to raise, it will be back to the fire services and the police and 
the police? It, Benefits their 2014 budget. It just benefits towards 2014 budget, but we're working towards that. What you're saying, yes. Okay. Back there, yes, ma'am. Yes, my name is Michelle Hollins. I'm a new county employee, and I just wanted to make a comment that you know, county employees and salaries that each department does try to balance their budget, and I wanted to make sure that the citizens of Pickens County know that. We are affected by the village rate and the tax increase just like all of the regular citizens are in this county. Thank you. Any other questions? <laughs> yes, Jerry. I'm Jerry Andrews. I'm born and raised in Pitts County. Uh, I'm sure everyone knows the county charges the Board of Education 2.5% to collect their local taxes each year. This year it brought in around $550,000. It'll be around that again next year, I'm sure. My question is, does that $550,000 finance the tax commissioner's budget for this year, or where does that money go? It does. It, it, goes to, um, it goes to support the tax assessor's budget and the tax commissioner's budget, because they do the assessing and the um, billing and collection. So the board of education <coughs> finance it. <coughs> that amount does not quite cover the entire budget, but it goes to support it. Yes, Mark. One more quick comment for people. If you look around this room, you'll see several elected officials that are here, several department heads that are here, and they're not going to run out of this room. If you've got questions for them individually, I'm sure they'd stop to talk to you. I mean, I know they all want to get home. Everybody wants to get home, but I'm glad to see the, the judges here. i got to say something nice about her. She'll have me arrested. That's why they're pleased to stay in the judge. May, may I do something for real quick? How many, how many, other than Judge Weaver here, how many other elected officials we have here, school board included? Can you all just raise your hands? All right, Sheriff's back there in the back. we got some board members here. we got Judge Weaver and, and Sharon Trogland. Um, please, if y'all want to ask them questions after this meeting's over, please do so. They're not going to—they're not going to run out on you. Anyway, Bill, will you make the necessary amendments to these budget hearings so that we can ask questions to these elected officials? I can talk to my, to my board. Would that be a problem, Joe? Only the time—the time issue. Time, the time issue. Would, be, would you could you set it up for next year? <laughs> well, it'd still be it'd still be a time issue. To go ahead. We'll talk to you. Okay. Yeah. Any further questions or comments, ladies and gentlemen? I mean, it's been a tough three weeks for everybody sitting here. I promise you. But <clears throat> we've got these budget meetings coming on. I'm losing my voice, but we've got these budget meetings coming on. And please, if y'all want to come and sit, and we will try to arrange something where we have some time left for these hour meetings. Maybe we can get up and, and have you ask a few questions. I want to now call this meeting adjourned. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm.